good morning so i just kind of wanted to um check in and let you guys know that um, i did get my covid my first um round of um i guess uh, covid vaccination got my little card here yay wait is that okay so they, it will be 21 days till I get my next um, my next and final dose. I'm, I think that's my the final one. Only two two parts to the vaccination process for COVID. Um, yesterday I got the well, the initial shot was I mean going there to the hospital and I guess it depends on what type of process you're going to have um, on the hospital that you go to. So it was a pretty smooth process. I think they have like a whole type of um pretty organized you you go in you have this like electronic thermal or um temperature check and then you check in and then they have these these um arrows on the floor that kind of guide you along um what just uh, nurses telling you where to go next when to go and then so pretty streamlined pretty quick process um went in even the shot itself i think took less than a minute to get like it was quick you go in you sit down Boom, they hit you with the, your little vaccination and you're pretty much done. Then they have you go wait out in the lobby or actually you go um, um, get your get scheduled for your next day where they give you this little card, the card that I just showed you and they schedule you for your next um, shot and then you go sit in the lobby for about 10-15 minutes to make sure you're not having any adverse reactions to it. So, um, and it was good. Like I got the shot, didn't feel anything, felt just fine, felt pretty normal. Um, today I feel pretty normal. The only thing I feel is like, um, just some soreness in my arm and that's pretty much it. Um, you know, uh, I guess I just wanted to kind of make a video cause I know there's a lot of skepticism with this COVID shot. A lot of people are concerned uh, about getting it. And I have still have those same concerns too, basically about there not being enough research behind the vaccine. Um, and, you know, a lot of people want to let others go first to kind of be the guinea pigs for it. I felt the same way too at first. Um, I was on the fence about getting it, but I just, you know, it's been such a bad year um there's been a lot of loss and a lot of just um emotional trauma um behind this whole covid situation and i'm tired um the beginning of the year i lost um one of my very best friends in april in life um I lost another uh, another co-worker who, I mean, he wasn't like my best friend, but he was a pretty good friend to um, my other best friend. She is just now recovering. She went through maybe like a month long um, stint with, with this COVID, a month long battle, I should say. And it got very scary at times, you know, and that was just emotionally draining for me. And at that, at this point, really, um, you know, having also not even only that, just kind of having scares back and forth, you know, oh, I was exposed to someone. You find out later that you were exposed to someone. I have to go get tested, been tested a couple of times already. And just, just the emotional roller coaster, even with that, just dealing with COVID, you know, and you're being around your loved ones and, um, or not being able to be around your loved ones. And, um, it's just, I just was like, I'm going to go ahead and just get this vaccine because um, I'm tired. So I'd rather, you know, you kind of have a choice. Um, basically, you know, do you want to get COVID and maybe die or maybe not die? Or should I get the vaccine and maybe kind of deal with, you know, whatever the back vaccine comes, uh, whatever comes with the vaccine, whether, you know, it's side effects or maybe not side effects, maybe, you know, and maybe it's going to work and it'll be just fine. Um, and, may, and that's it. So I was just like, um, you know, I just decided it might be a little earlier than I would like. And, you know, I'd like more research behind it, but I just, <laughs> I just went ahead and, and I've taken it. So 
I don't have any regrets about it so far. Hopefully down the line I won't. Hopefully everything will be okay. Um, I know that I've spoken to some of my friends and they're not getting it. And, you know, I know that there's a lot of skepticism in a, um, among the uh, black community where they don't want to get it. And I totally understand given the history of medical research, black people have been the sacrificial lambs, have been mistreated. Um, in the past in order to get in order for us to have a lot of the medical breakthroughs that we did have a lot of the advan advancements in in um, medicine modern medicine that we do have now uh, unfortunately you know and very um, disturbing that black people were the people that were tested on were mistreated were misled in order to to have the you know the advancements that we have now and have the the um, anyway I'm getting tongue-tied but I do understand that um, and I, I not here I guess maybe not to encourage anybody to get it or not to get it that's your decision um, you know it's really unfortunate that you you do have that skepticism and it might be it's a hard decision, but you know, you think it, it, what if like, you know, maybe you get COVID and you don't, God forbid, you know, that you, you don't recover, you don't do well, or maybe one of the things on my mind was, you know, I have older people that, um, you know, I'm around older people, older family members, older loved ones and not we try to limit our contact and when when there is contact or we're around each other we try to follow all the um the the precautions you know the masks and the, the social distancing and the i carry an alcohol bottle around i'm spraying everything like a crazy person but you know what it, it's done well for us so far um but even though there's always that fear like oh my god like what if i have something and i pass it to you know my aunt or my mom or you know someone uh, an older generation that they don't really if they get it um you know they won't they'll have a hard time uh beating off that virus i would just feel terrible so, you know, and that was another just huge factor in me deciding that I should go ahead and get it because I couldn't really live with myself if I did, if that happened, if I, you know, I mean, it, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to go too deep into that, but, you know, I'm just here to say, like, I'm doing okay as far as, I mean, it's the next day. I know it might be, hopefully the whole, you know, maybe down the line I won't have, like, some crazy side effect um but you know i can understand all the reasons why people have their uh skepticisms or have their you know the naysayers that don't want to get the the vaccine um and you know in the unfortunately non-white or you know black people specifically are i mean it's ravaging black communities it's it's hitting black people at three times uh three times more than it is um uh, white people and i don't know if you know as if i'm just thinking to myself is that a better you don't you're not getting you're not interested in getting the vaccine is that a better outcome you know to have that much um you know, like death in your community than, than the outcome of just getting a vaccine. So just something to think about. Um, but I guess that's it. And um, that's all I have to say. And have a great day. Mm -hmm.